In the previous video, you learnt about the structure of atoms. You also learned that elements are atoms of different types. You have probably come across atoms and elements before in chemistry. Physics and chemistry overlap, and so we need to also know about them in physics too. We can use the periodic table to tell us more about the differences between elements, including the different numbers of protons, neutrons and electrons they possess. In this video, you will also learn what ions and isotopes are. Just stay tuned. First things first, the number of protons in an atom determines which element it is. No two elements have the same number of protons, ever. Each symbol in the periodic table is an abbreviation of a different element. For example, C stands for carbon. By the symbol are two numbers. The smallest number is the atomic number, and it tells us the number of protons. The number of protons is equal to the number of electrons, unless the atom has become an ion. More on that in a bit. The bigger number is the mass number, aka atomic mass, and it's the sum of the number of protons and neutrons. Electrons do not contribute to an element's mass number, because of their extremely low mass. This is all very handy because by using the atomic number and mass number, you can calculate the number of neutrons in an atom. You can simply subtract the atomic number from the mass number. All you are doing is subtracting the number of protons from the total number of protons and neutrons, so that what you are left with is the number of neutrons. Earlier, I mentioned that an atom can become an ion. This occurs when an atom gains or loses electrons to become positively or negatively charged. It has no effect on the individual charges of protons, neutrons or electrons. They stay the same. When an atom is neutral, the number of protons and electrons are equal. But when an atom has become an ion, the number of protons and electrons are no longer equal. The number of electrons does not equal the atomic number anymore. A negative ion is an atom that has gained one or more electrons. Electrons are negatively charged, so this makes sense. It has gained more negative charge, and so the atom has gone from neutral to relatively negative. A positive ion is an atom that has lost one or more electrons. Again, this makes sense, as the atom has lost some negative charge to become relatively positive. Lastly, let's talk about isotopes. There are forms of elements with the same number of protons, but different numbers of neutrons. This means they have different masses, i.e. their mass numbers differ, but their atomic number stays the same. Here are three known isotopes of hydrogen. Pause the video and see if you can see what is the same and what is different between the isotopes. The number of protons is the same, which makes sense because they are all of the same element and will have the same atomic number. The number of electrons is the same. The number of neutrons is different. Zero in protium, one in deuterium, and two in tritium. Consequently, the mass numbers are... So, there we have atomic numbers, mass numbers, ions and isotopes. Do you know what all four are? Pause the video and have a think. Did you get them right? To learn about how we discovered the existence of atoms and the structure of atoms, watch this video.